Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Cursor AI versus GitHub Copilot, two of the most popular AI coding assistants for developers right now. I've been testing them side by side, and they each have strengths depending on your workflow. So if you're wondering which one is the best fit for you, this breakdown should save you some time. All right, let's start with their core purpose. GitHub Copilot has been around longer, built by GitHub and powered by OpenAI's Codex model. It's designed to work right inside your editor, giving you code completions, suggestions, and sometimes even writing full functions for you. Cursor AI, on the other hand, is newer and built specifically as an AI-first code editor. It doesn't just suggest snippets, it's designed to act like a coding partner where you can chat, refactor, debug, and even ask it to explain code in plain English. Now, in terms of user experience, Copilot integrates directly into VS Code, JetBrains, and a few other editors. It feels lightweight. You just install the extension and it runs in the background, giving you suggestions as you type. Cursor AI takes a different approach. It's basically its own editor, built on top of VS Code, but optimized for AI workflows. That means you get a chat panel, smart context awareness, and tools for working on entire files or projects, not just inline code suggestions. Let's talk about features and flexibility. Copilot is great for day-to-day -day coding auto-completing boilerplate, generating helper functions, or quickly writing loops and conditionals. But it's not super interactive. You can't have a deep back and forth conversation with Copilot, and debugging help is pretty limited. Cursor AI shines here. You can literally highlight a block of code and ask it to refactor, optimize performance, or explain what's going on. It can handle multi-file changes, and it remembers context better. So if you're working on a large project and need an AI to follow along with your thought process, Cursor feels more advanced. Now, in terms of community and ecosystem, GitHub Copilot benefits from GitHub's massive user base, and a lot of developers already use it as their default AI assistant. Cursor, while newer, is growing fast and has a strong reputation among early adopters for being more powerful in actual development workflows. So, quick verdict. If you want something lightweight, simple, and directly integrated into your favorite editor, GitHub Copilot is still a solid choice. But if you're looking for an AI coding assistant that goes beyond auto-completion, something that can debug, explain, and adapt to your entire project, Cursor AI is the better option right now. That's it for today's comparison between Cursor AI and GitHub Copilot. I hope this breakdown helped you figure out which one might suit your workflow best. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.